Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryguy Gaming here today, and today I will be doing the other tutorial, I promise you guys. And today we are doing a name changing GUI. And so, as you can see here, I have my two players. I just changed my own name, and now my friend here, which is actually just me on another screen, <laughs> will change his name too. And as you can see, now I can see it and we each have different names than our original leaderboard player names. And so this is just a cool what thing you guys can do. I've seen people use it in like RPGs and like town places where just pretty much role playing games. You can even use it in any other kind of game you want. Um, just to give people the chance to pick custom nicknames that they wouldn't normally have. And so I am going to go ahead and we'll hop out of this and back into the studio and we will show you how to do this. So let me close the server and everything. So here we are in the studio. First thing you're probably going to want to do is set up a GUI kind of like I have here just so you can see it. It is right here. This is change names and you have the text box and the text button. This one's the button, this one's the box. You will need both of these and then just set them up wherever you want them and yeah, we'll come back to those later. The real magic happens inside of our billboard GUI script right here and like always to insert a script, just right click on workspace, go to insert object and click script. So let's go ahead and hop into the script. So as you can see it's kind of long but it's all on the same page so let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see sorry I just minimized it there we go and so as you can see here it is so the first thing we're gonna do is do our game um, we're going to get the child added event and I actually did this a different way today just to show you guys how to do this. I did this in the earlier tutorial too, but I just wanted to like kind of solidify this with you guys how this works. So basically it's just calling a function without having to create a separate function. And so this just is when the child added event is fired, it will go into this function here. And so when this happens, when the player enters the game pretty much, we will create a new string value and we will name it RP name like role play name. We will put it inside the player and it will equal the player's name for now. And then down here when the character is added, so when the player's character enters workspace, this is when the magic happens. This also makes sure that this happens every time the player respawns. If you don't have this here and you just have this, this will only work the first time that the player um, spawns in. It won't work every time they respawn. So we definitely need this. Then we are going to create a new billboard GUI, put it inside the head, adorn it to the head, Adorn just means like it's what it's going to be hovering over. So for example, if you were to use a force field, the Adorni is what the force field is surrounding. Um, and then the size, we just make it big enough so that it is actually there. Like this usually seems like a good size. And then the studs offset, which is a vector three which will place it above the head. If we don't have this, it kind of blends into their head. <laughs> so this is how it will be. And then down here is where we create the text label. And this will go inside the billboard GUI and it will change its text to the name value inside the player. And then it will change the font size to 12. It will set its size. It will get the, it will make it transparent. If you don't have this line, it's like a huge white background and it looks ugly. Then I changed the text color to white and the stroke color to black. And then I make it so that you can actually see the stroke color. I'm not 100% sure what that does. 
but I've found that it makes it a little bit easier to see because white against the sky is kind of hard to see sometimes. So anyways, just put your ends and that's it for this script. And then we will go ahead and hop into the buttons. Now, let's do the text box first because this script is really simple. Basically, what this does is it just makes the text box say what the player's name is currently so that it's just not saying change name. Like if you notice when I was in game it said like player one or whatever and then when I changed it it said my name. So that's that. And then in here is where the magic happens. So basically you just have the mouse I here again here I did the new kind of way to call a function from an event and basically you just say you set up these the box is the text box the player I get the player and then player dot RP name dot value equals box dot text so that changes the string value in the player to the text box and then there is this which gets the character and then we just change the the text label in the billboard GUI in the player's head to the box.txt and so that's pretty much it so yeah I actually before we end this off though I would like to try something really quick because there is actually a a what's it called property of a billboard GUI that lets you see it through the wall. I want to see if that one is currently turned on or not. So just a second and I will pull up the servers and stuff again. They are loading. I know you can't see that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to load real quick. Okay now we should, there we go, now we've hopped into the game. So I am going to take control, I think I'm player one right now. Yeah, so I'm going to take control of player two and I'm going to go hop behind this door so he can't see me. Oops, <laughs> um, that didn't work. Okay, so yeah, I accidentally opened the door as player two. And then I'm going to take control of player one and as you can see, we cannot see the other player's name through the wall. There is a property you can set to change this. I wouldn't recommend it because that would be annoying. Because the way billboard GUIs work is basically you can see them forever. So as long as their name isn't obstructed, you can see their name from across the map. And so I would recommend using these in more of like a crap <laughs> I would recommend using these in kind of more of a cluttered place to be honest or if you have like a lot of buildings and stuff because if you don't you're gonna have a lot of player names hovering over their heads that you can see forever so that is a limitation of the billboard GUI is that there is no view distance it can always be viewed forever unless it's obstructed by something else but Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you're wondering why I'm running so fast, go check out my shift to sprint tutorial on how to use user input service. And I really hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, please be sure to leave a like down below. And please be sure to post a comment with any questions or suggestions you may or may not have. Dang it. <laughs> And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future content. And I will see you guys later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.